Mommy's picture. Yeah. Mommy's making a film. Of vegetables and meat and fish. I need some carbs in the meals too for the kids, but preferably in a way that I can separate it out so my husband doesn't have to eat it. And to be honest, I should try and cut back on the carbs too. The thing I hate about shopping in Austria is the tiny shopping carts. Like I'm I'm shopping with kids. Like today I'm shopping with one. I, I would never try doing this bigger shop with all three because you know they're young. They're trying to take food off the shelves. I, I wish I had as much discipline over them that they didn't try that, but they do. So it's a constant battle of put it back, put it back, put it back. Okay, so I'm back from our grocery shopping and I bought a lot of stuff. So even if we completely run out of money in the coming month, I think we'll be okay. So, let's start over here. I Basically, I shopped at three different places. Uh, the Austrian version of Aldi, uh, Lidl, and uh, a store called Merkel, which can be a really expensive store, but if you find the right deals, it can actually really save you a lot of money too, and they have really good meat. So, Frankie has already squirreled away some of the fruit. It's Anna. Okay. So, first of all, I got these potatoes for like, I think about two euros. The onions also for two euros for five kilos, so that's a really good deal. Two uh, cauliflowers, a cabbage thing. This was like a euro cheaper than usual for the um, bell peppers, which can be quite pricey in Austria because they're not, you know, they don't grow in Austria in our climate, so uh, I got a quite good deal on them. Some lettuce, cabbage, a bunch of potato salad which we're going to have with dinner with our rotisserie chicken, some mushrooms. Mushrooms can be pretty pricey so I'm hoping to grow with them in our garden. And I got a really good deal at Merkel on pork chops. Uh, 3 euros 99 a kilo, so I bought like four of them. And then I got six, uh, five ninety nine a kilo on this cut of beef that's kind of okay. Um, you don't necessarily have to slow cook it, but you, you probably want to. And I got one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten sets of that, so we're going to be all set for that. Some turkey legs that were on a deal. Some frozen fish and shrimp. Oh, and some carrots here. I forgot about the carrots in the produce section. Uh, then I got some low-fat yogurts. Uh, six jars from the Aldi uh, of unsweetened applesauce, which I use to turn into ice lollies for the kids so that they'll eat all their dinner. 
uh, some low fat cheese so, and also some normal cheese that I will use in freezer sandwiches for the kids. Uh, here's the meat that I'm going to use with it as well as this over here and these and Frank is already chowing down some other meat I got, cold cuts. I even managed to get some bacon which isn't a big deal probably to you but it's hard to get bacon in Austria so I was pretty excited. I got some olives with with the uh, stuffed with garlic. A huge thing of peanut butter. I know this is like normal size in America but in Austria they everything comes in these tiny little jars. It's really frustrating like this size maximum. So a peanut butter jar this big. You can see why it says XXL. It, that's pretty exciting to me to get that kind of bulk. Uh, some pickles. I think with dill in them for a change. Normally you don't get dill pickles in Austria. That's pretty exciting. Some zero fat Greek yogurt. Nice snack for my husband. Some freezer bags for the, the meals I'll be making. A bunch of passata. I use this a lot in my cooking and it was only 39 cents per thing. I use maybe one or two per meal depending on what I'm cooking. Uh, five things of porridge. They're each 65 cents, so almost nothing. Some more sugar. Oh, some uh, Aldi own brand soda, so hopefully my husband likes it. Three cans of tuna from Lidl. Some dishwasher tabs from Aldi. Uh, I bought thing four things of flour for the normal price of about 65 cent, euro cents at Aldi and then I went to Lidl and I discovered they were doing 3 euro 70 for a pack of 10 which is a fantastic price so 37 cents per bag of flour. I wish I could buy it in bulk and didn't have to always deal with these stupid rubbish that it creates or the junk from having such small packs but they just don't do bulk stuff much in Austria. That's just life. Then yogurty stuff. So okay, I, I use a ton of garlic powder for my cooking. I'm too lazy to do to peel and chop garlic so I like to buy it in those big packs like that. It saves a bit of effort. Some low fat cottage cheese. Six things of uh, lactose free butter. That's really good because normally I got a good deal on it. 25% off lactose free everything in Merkel today. Um, Normally lactose free stuff is never on sale, so that was pretty exciting. Uh, the Philadelphia is 3%. It's like almost no points on Weight Watchers, so we Frank likes that. The normal butter, which is a bit cheaper, I'm going to use that in the freezer sandwiches for the kids. Some burger baps, that's really exciting because normally burger baps, they're only on sale in some places and they're really expensive and I got these for about a third of the usual price. And then I got five things of cheap bread for the sandwiches. I make my own bread too, but uh, I don't have time to do all that. And then, so oh yeah, let's not forget two watermelons. Oh, I've got the figs and the plums. Nectarines, peaches, Mommy. and then a, um, some nappies, Mommy diapers. A oh yeah, nap diapers for uh, Anna and for John. And I got five sets of these Ooh. fifteen eggs, five, which should keep us going for about seven, two and a half weeks, depending five, on what we do. So yeah. So Mommy, this all came to five, six. <laughs> Five and six, that's right. Mm -hmm. So basically I spent 130 euros in Merkur, 78 euros mm -hmm. in Aldi and 30 euros in um, in Lidl. So it came to about 240 euros. This should be enough for most of the month, hopefully, if I'm if I really am careful. Especially the meat. The meat should keep us going and that's the most expensive part. So fingers crossed I can keep us going with this amount and I hope so because that's about, I've only got about 100 euros left on our monthly budget. So I better put all of this away. Everybody's getting hungry and I will let you know how I get on with the 
freezer sandwiches, etc. See ya. Bye. What's wrong? Yeah. yeah, that's watermelon. That's a watermelon. That's not watermelon, Dad, Mommy. That's watermelon. That's watermelon, yeah.